Hey, this is Bit2Brain. Today I want to show you how to set up a remote desktop connection allowing you to connect from your iPhone into your Windows machine. Now that you can use this for Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows Server 2012. I'm going to connect to a Windows 7 machine, so this is how you do it. Now there's a couple ways you can get to the configuration to set up your remote desktop connection. You can say remote, allow remote access to the computer, or you can go into the control panel, go down to system, go to remote settings, click on the remote tab at the top, and this is where you can do your configuration. So you obviously don't want, don't allow connections to the computer. You want this one, or if you select that, you have to go into power options and make the appropriate changes there. Or I am on a domain, so I'm going to select this option here this radio button. You can also select users from here. Now I'm going to select this Jesse Win 2012 and that is what I'm going to use to connect to this particular machine. So we have additional options up here under advanced. You can set the maximum amount of time. You obviously want this checked. Uh, you want this checked up here to control this system remotely. And we have an additional option down here to create invitations. Now from here we click apply. All right, now we need to figure out the IP address of this system on this local area network. So type in CMD, type in IP config, and this is my connection. And this is my IP address, 192.168.1.15. Now I need to enter this into my router to port forward. Now, when you port forward, you're just telling the router which connections you want to come in, which port numbers you want made available, and to what system on your network. Now with this one, obviously, it's going to be 192.168.1.15, and the port we want to open is 3389. That's for RDP services. Now I have my router control panel open so I can uh, change the configurations. So I want to type in RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol, and the default for that is 3389, 3389, I want both TCP and UDP, so I'll keep both on there. I want this going again to dot 15. Yours may be different, whatever you want to set. I can now connect to that machine, 192.168.1.15, using RDP, which I'll show you. So what you want to do at this point is install the Microsoft Remote Desktop app. All right, now once you've installed the Microsoft Remote Desktop app, you want to go ahead and put in your username and password, put your IP address, and you should be able to connect if you've configured everything correctly. So I'll go ahead and connect to my 192.168.1.15 machine from the app. And you see that I am now connected. While that's great, we want to connect to our public address. Okay, so instead of connecting to the dot 15 machine from let's say 192.168.1.16 we want to actually connect from the dot 16 address to our public address so let's see how to do that all right if you're like me and like most users on the internet you do not have a fixed IP address so if you want to connect to a fixed IP address you need to pay for that or you can use something like noip.com and as your IP address changes, because you lease out an IP address from your ISP, as it changes, it will actually match up and you can connect to that using a host name. So instead of having to type out like 24.127.98.64 or whatever your public address may be, you would just type in, for instance, your name.ddns.net. So it's much easier. And as your IP address changes, you will still be able to reach your network. So you would just sign up here at noip.com and you'll be able to set that up very easily. Just follow the instructions and you should be good to go. Now, you might be wondering, what is my current IP address now? What is my public current address? Well, to find that out, you can just type in whatismyip.com. That'll come up. You put that setting within noip.com, the configuration settings, and you should be good to go. Now, let's go back to my connection from my iPhone. All right, now I want to connect using the noip.com account. So now instead of having to type out this long IP address, all I have to do is type out my host name, jesse469 
.ddns.net. So as the IP address changes, I'll still be able to connect to my .15 machine within my network. So you see, I have connected to the public address, no problem. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. You just set up your incoming connection within your Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows Server 2012 machine. You get the IP address of that machine. You set up port forwarding within your router. Put in 3389, use TCP and UDP. Put the IP address of that machine you want to connect to. Then you want to go ahead and install the Microsoft RDP app to your iPhone. And then you should be able to connect to the machine if you're on your local area network. Now, if you want to connect to the public address, just go to noip.com, set up an account, put in your public address, which you can get from whatismyip.com, set it up within the noip.com account, and then set up another connection on your Microsoft Remote Desktop app on your iPhone, and then you can connect to that. So that's how you set up a remote desktop connection and connect to it from your iPhone. I hope this was helpful for you, and I will be having more tutorials for you in the future. This is Bit to Brain. Thanks.